two, one. Well, guys, I think it's important um, to understand that you don't get to pick and choose when it comes to conservation. This is the biggest animal I've ever shot. It's a beautiful animal, but to me, it's no different than a nice kudu bull or a, a white-tailed buck. Um, sustainable use hunting is the only recipe that works across the world. And we're gonna take a lot of flack for this, that's okay. I hope people are open-minded. Um, because I'll tell you one thing, if you ban giraffe hunting or the importation of giraffes, you know who's gonna lose? The giraffe. Right, yeah. So you'll have a whole lot more of this scale and you'll have a whole lot less of sustainable or thick. Mm -hmm. You know, it was cool to come here and, and get to look at so many giraffes. There's over 30,000 here in South Africa and, and a population worldwide of like almost 120,000. Um, the countries that have the most giraffe are the ones that allow hunting. Sustainable hunting. Yeah, so um, I feel very blessed to take such a magnificent old bull. We know that this bull is north of 25 years old. Yeah. And Grant, if you will come with the camera, I want just to take a look here at the, the head of this thing. Carl said he's never seen wrinkles never seen that. On, yeah. on the giraffe's head. He's missing one horn. Who knows how many years ago that came off and fighting. But uh, this is this is the right animal to take. He's what, maybe a year or two away from just dying out here in the bush. Yeah. And, uh, and instead of that, we get to use this money to um, further the conservation initiative. So um, I I'm very, feel very blessed to have had this experience. Yeah. Thank you, Ken. Thanks for what you've done coming here and taking on a subject that is sensitive but it's an important one it's one we have to take on because giraffe in east africa are in trouble mm -hmm. in southern africa they are not in trouble and there's one formula that works and there's one that's not working yeah. beautiful ball